Welcome to this short video describing what's new in the ArcGIS for AutoCAD 370 release. This release is an incremental update that includes support for installing and launching 64-bit versions of AutoCAD 2018 and some quality enhancements. ArcGIS for AutoCAD 370 from Esri is a free plugin to AutoCAD for CAD professionals. It connects CAD users to the ArcGIS platform for 64-bit versions of AutoCAD, AutoCAD Civil 3D, and AutoCAD Map 3D releases 2015 through 2018. This tool continues to allow people to create ArcGIS datasets within AutoCAD and also connects the AutoCAD user to ArcGIS web services for use within AutoCAD. If you did not upgrade to ArcGIS for AutoCAD 365, you will also want to review the recent functional changes outlined in my previous blog and videos for what was new in that release. The ArcGIS for AutoCAD 370 release sunsets older versions of AutoCAD and focuses on the modern 64-bit versions of AutoCAD, including support for installing and launching ArcGIS for AutoCAD on version 2018. The installer now recognizes 2018, and you can see here I can launch ArcGIS for AutoCAD from the desktop icon. A number of quality enhancements have been included in this release. The default URL syntax for ArcGIS Enterprise Server Services has been relaxed in this version of ArcGIS for AutoCAD. Previously, it was required that the connection string included ArcGIS Services to make a proper connection. This requirement has been relaxed, making it possible to connect to your server with different naming conventions, like this one from FEMA. Another important fix in this release has to do with adding multiple features to a feature service. When multiple new features were added to a feature service, they were assigned the attributes of only the first feature. In this release, all attributes of new features are handled properly. Planar features such as contour lines are now added with their proper vertex elevation values. Previously, this type of feature was added at a zero elevation even though non-planar 3D features were added with their correct vertex elevations. Both types of features, both planar and non-planar, are now added with their proper 3D elevation. Thanks for watching.